Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. And in this set of videos, I'm showing you how to write a modern meets and bounds land description uh, using uh, parcel objects and closure reports from AutoCAD Civil 3D. So in the last video, we started working down this numbered list of courses along the east boundary of, of our uh, subject parcel, this boundary right here. And we came to our first curve in this description. So I wanna show you how I write curves. Uh, every surveyor has a little different way of writing curves. I'm going to teach you my way. It's not better than other other ways. It's just my way of doing it. So let's go ahead and write our curve in here. So the way I like to do do it is I like to say um, along a, and you either call it out as tangent or non-tangent. I'm not going to explain what those are in this video. Um, so this is a tangent curve. So along a tangent curve, and then you need to say, is it to the right or the left? And the way I remember that is if I'm standing at the end of the line looking in the direction of travel for the legal, does the curve swing out to the right or the left? So in this case, if I'm standing here and looking south, the direction of the travel, the curve swings out to the left. So we're going to say along a tangent curve to the left. Okay. Uh, a an arc length of 147.50 feet. Then I stop and I say said curve has a radius of 169.19 feet and a central angle of 49 degrees, 57 seconds, 57, 49 degrees, 57 minutes, 7 seconds. Actually, and I like to do this. I like to say, said curve has a radius of, comma, a central angle, da, 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 and a chord bearing of, and then I like to give the chord bearing a distance because curves are just tricky. And so if you can give people the cord bearing and distance, it makes it a little easier. So cord bearing of and a cord length of. Okay, and that's how I write my curves. So then we can get rid of this, except I misspelled tangent, so let's fix that. Then we're ready for our next course, which is just a straight line segment. So that's easy in theory. Okay, so we're just going to get rid of our extra spaces here, bearing a distance. Okay, with a period. So just to help you guys out, we went down the straight line, then we went on this tangent curve, then we went down this straight line. Now we got another tangent curve we're going to describe. So we're going to use the very same format. I'm going to say... Uh, Along a tangent curve. Now this time we're swinging around the other way. We're swinging around to the right. Tangent curve to the right. And arc length of 63.38 feet, period. Said curve has a radius of 40 feet. A central, whoop, need a comma there. A central angle of, and we're going to just copy this. And I usually get rid of this leading zero. And a chord bearing, let's say we got an extra and there. A chord bearing of and a chord length of fifty six point nine five feet. Got extra and in here. We want to get rid of that. All right. So there's our next curve. 
And then we got one more course to finish the list. So let's get our formatting done here. Now the last call in the list, you need to add your two call because we're wrapping up the list here. So we want to know what are we going to. We're going to the south boundary of our new parcel. So we're going to say to the south boundary of the parcel described in this document. Okay. Now we're out of the list. Okay. Now this is a little bit tricky because now we're going to go Nope, I lied. We got one more curve to finish our list. So I goofed that up. So let's pull this out. Okay, so we got one more curve. So we're going to say then, nope, no then. So then we're going to say along A, again, tangent, tangent, curve. This curve swoops around to the left, to the left, and arc length of... 27.36 feet. Oop. And I, I might not have said this explicitly. I'm just pulling this information out of right here. Right below. And we're going to say said curve has a radius of 304.00 feet. A central angle of... I'm going to put that in. A cord bearing of... Put that in and a chord length of, put that in. So then my two call on a curve goes right here at the distance, 27.36 feet to the south boundary, blah, 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 blah. Then I give the information on the curve. Okay, so we've got a delta right here. Central, I call it central angle. I get rid of these leading zeros and then chord length and chord bearing. All right, don't fall asleep yet, guys. We're almost done. All right, we take care of that curve. Okay, and we have our two call here. So now we're going to go back to that format we used before which is then uh, uh, leaving first, so then leaving the east boundary of parcel 2. Don't forget our said, said parcel 2. Along the said south boundary, so the south boundary of the par new parcel. Bearing and distance, get rid of these extra spaces. Okay, and so we've actually got two courses here to our POB, so we want to make this a list. So we're going to say, thence leaving the east boundary of said parcel two along the south boundary, the following courses. Okay, and then we just make this a numbered list like we did before. So there's our first call. Okay, then we have a call to a curve. So we're going to say along a tangent curve to the... Oh, we're going to the left again. To the left and arc length of... 47.86 feet, and we got to put our co two call in here to the, I like to put this in bold, point of beginning, period, said curve having a radius of 100 feet, a central angle of 27, 25, 26. A chord bearing of 
northwest. And a cord length of 47.41 feet. Okay, and that, that's it. That's the end of our description now. I like to put an area call in here. Okay, so we're going to go grab that out of our closure report. So we've got this many square feet. And we're going to divide that to get our acres, 43560, so 3.52 acres. Okay, so we're gonna say right here, said parcel described, this document has an area of uh, 3.52 acres, more or less. Okay, and I don't need to change the endnotes. Those are done. Drop in my signature. Okay, so we've got this just about done. The only thing I want to do is come in here and add a, a little more accurate description of my point of beginning. Uh, but we'll do that in a different video. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.